As you can see here, this place is the it's like it's like a kind of like a stadium thing. It's not the exact old stadium, but it's it's pretty much the new stadium, a replica technically speaking. What's up guys, now we are at this place, the Acropolis, uh, a, lot, a lot has happened, I haven't taken a lot of B-roll because we were like in a tour so it was pretty troublesome because everybody was going everywhere so, but I have time to explain what's going on here, basically uh, this is like a kind of like a sacrifice kind of temple, I, I forgot most of the details but this is a temple and there's another temple down there, uh, down there. The temple is more important than this temple. Really, this temple is is for Athena, the goddess Athena of the city. There was a legend that they picked either Poseidon or Athena to be the god of this city. At the, at the end, they picked Athena for some reason. Poseidon is the god of the uh, of uh, the sea, the oceans, as you guys know. And uh, one interesting thing is they have like um, mythical stories that are imprinted on the on the walls of this. This building, most of them are destroyed, but basically they depict the the ideals of good and evil. Basically, they have Athenians versus the Amazons on one side, and then the other side with Titans versus the Olympian gods, and then the other side is uh, Centaurs versus another Greek tribe, and the other side is what's the other side? Gods versus giants or something like that. But yeah, basically a lot of mythical stories when printed that now they are gone I think they are preserved somewhere in uh, in another museum Alhamdulillah awesome place man beautiful check this out water from the spring believe it or not spring water you can fill your bottles in this like little spring area and to be honest the water really tastes good like Singapore's water is like of a certain standard this water here is like similar to that standard awesome
Okay, so basically right now we are in the Acropolis Museum where they have all the artifacts from the Acropolis itself. Amazing place to visit. Definitely should come. Uh, come check it out, this place. Just finished the tour so I can talk to you guys. But uh, this place is worth visiting. It's very nice. A lot of history, a lot of in-depth understanding of the history here itself. Having lunch in the Acropolis Museum. Boom. Boom. Power. Boom. Yes. Time to take in. Full review coming. I'm gonna drink the soup. I'm gonna test the soup out. Damn! This is like some good old tomato soup. 100% man. Sorry, pumpkin soup. It's actually quite good. Next stop, I'm gonna try the meatball. This thing. This meatball. Do you wanna take this? Uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Next up is the spring roll thingy that I showed you guys just now, that this yellow thing. It's a cheese, I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. What is this? Cheese. Cheese? Cheese pancake. So, so you dip it in the sauce and you taste it. Yo! Interesting. It's like cheese, it's like sour, salty, and the sauce is sweet. Very interesting. I uh, haven't, haven't tasted this before, man. Everything here is very foreign to me. I'm an Asian kid. Not used to Greek food, man. 100% not used to Greek food. Particularly this thing. It is sour and salty. This, this meatball. This. This. If you ask me out of these three dishes, which is the best? I would say the soup. Fantastic. Flavorful. Not a mistake to order the soup at all. Really good. One thing I gotta tell you guys, the entire meal here costs about I think 40 euros. It's within the Acropolis Museum. A little bit expensive. I think I think in Singapore dollars it's probably like 50 bucks or over. 
Oh man, it's pretty expressive, man. Euro, man. What are you doing to our money? But clothes here are cheap. You're right, I know, right? Greek food is pretty expensive, right? But anyway, if you're wondering why I'm suddenly I'm back home, it's because I'm editing this afterwards. So, and I realized this, this video is getting too long because there's another video that will be coming after this, which is all on the same day, which is the 12th of December, which will include the Temple of Poseidon and all that things like that. It's pretty interesting, it's gonna be pretty exciting, but I have to cut this video here and afterwards I make a new video on the Temple of Poseidon. So thank you so much for watching, I'm gonna end the video here, right here, right now. Thanks for watching all the way until now, really appreciate all the support, this is a lot of thought. Be sure to stay tuned for part 2 of this current video which will be the Temple of Poseidon. Be sure to stay tuned for all the videos of the Greek Odyssey that I had back in December. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and peace out. Goodbye. Greek food is freaking expensive man. Expensive. Shit. No, my meatball. I will save you. <laughs>